hello now in this video i am going to show you how you can display order in admin panel so first of all we have this demo page now i am going to save as this demo page in admin panel this is the we are right now inside in this admin folder now i am going to save as this file save as display order we can see we are this inside this admin folder display order okay now i am going to run this page display order dot php and yes you can see this is the blend page over here now we have to do coding over here now display order you can see which order uh, we get from user now for that here we have to do database connectivity and in our database we have one table name confirm order address so first of all we have to get data from this table confirm order address we need to display this first so now here dollar res is equal to mysql i underscore query here we have to pass link and now select star from and we have to give table name and we have to do order by id setting so we need uh, last order first so order by id descending okay now we need to move while loop while dollar row is equal to mysql i fetch array and here we have to pass dollar res okay now we need table so i am going to do here table tag echo table and now echo slash table echo tr echo slash tr we are going to write this because we need our data in table format means in proper format slash td okay now inside this while loop we are going to fetch data from database but we need heading so this is for heading here we need to display first name last name email address city pin code and contact number so we need one two three four five six and seven field so this is the first second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh okay now we have to write heading so first name first name then we need last name first name last name then we need email email then we need address then we need city then pin code and then contact number pin code and contact number okay and now the same field we have to display here but this is the static field and we have to now get data from database so we have to write like this dollar row and here also we have to pass this dollar row and now we need to give here a table border is equal to one not double quotes we have to pass only single quotes and now i am going to run here so you can see we get data like this okay uh, 
you can see we give here table border is equal to one then also we are not getting border over here so in this template we are going to open the style.css and here we have to find table because they are uh, written something in this css file for this table that we can see here remove this table that from this reset.css now i am going to check here widget widget border or not yes then means we need one more table remove this table that now again i am going to run this and check this okay still there is some table that okay in this nothing layout.css we have to find we have to find C table tag in all css okay table form table form table form table form remove this and now i am going to check oh we have to find one more also this is not reset double remove style still now we have to check here what is the problem in this table why we are not getting border over here so select this table yes so we have to change in this reset.css and we have to find this outline we are going reset.css in starting yes border and now we are going to refresh here and yes you can see here we get here this type of border okay good now here we have to do, uh, give bold font then we have to give here style style and here we have to write font weight bold now copy this and paste over here so we did this board ok we are not getting contact number so we have to check we are right in a spelling mistake ok now again i am going to check ok now we need here one link view order so when we click on this view order link on that time we need to open second page and on, on that page we need the item of this order ok so here heading view order and now we need td echo td echo slash td and now we need here link href view order and here we are going to create one new page 
display underscore order underscore one dot php question mark id is equal to we have to pass here from here id eco dollar row id okay now i am going to run this and after running you have to move mouse on that and check on this taskbar you can see here in taskbar you can see localhost youtube project admin display order underscore one dot php question mark id is equal to six if you are not getting this id is equal to something value then you did any mistake and you have to check here what is the problem but right now there is no problem we get here id now i am going to click this view order we can see here here open display order one dot php and id is equal to six but we get ob object not found yes because we are not uh, going to create this page so now we are going to create this page so this error will be solved now again copy this we have to open this demo and save as and now we have to write this page name and ok so now i am going to refresh this so you can see object not found error will be gone and now we have to display here record good order items and here we have to do database connectivity again so dollar id is equal to dollar underscore get id you have to start php and php underscore get id this id is this one okay now here we have to database connectivity for displaying record mysql i query dollar link select star from our table name is transform order product select star from transform order product where order id is equal to dollar id while dollar row is equal to mysql i fetch array and dollar array yes and uh, I forgot to say one thing. Uh, after complete this video, you can see the link of this uh, file code. Uh, you can see the link of this file code, so you can download this file from there. Now, here we have to again display record echo table. Now echo slash table. Now echo tr echo slash tr now echo td echo slash td and here we have to display our image so for displaying em image we write here i am jsrc you you think that why i uh, complete this loss state if i am not complete this loss state and write in echo then we are not yet not get any types of help over here you can see here i get here help if i write he then i got here i but if you are right inside the php tab then you are not getting any types of else so i write this otherwise we can write in echo also now here i have to give field name echo dollar row and now i have to give your field name product underscore image product underscore image and now i am going to run my page You can see here I get your image and now I want here other details like price, quantity, whatever. Echo td, echo slash td. Now product name, echo dollar row, and we need here product name. Now product price. Oh, now. product price now product qty and we need product total okay now you can see i am getting here this record now we need to give border table border is equal to 1 
and here we have to give TD VL line is equal to top so you can see like this now if you want to give heading then we can give heading also now we are going to give heading here echo tr and we need here echo slash tr echo slash tr and Now we need heading so remove this dollar row dollar row now if you don't we need this underscore okay and okay now you can see here we get we get this one thing is remove Oh yeah, product image, product image. Okay, so this way we can display your order. Now again, I am going to display this order. Then you can see here order. Now I am going to order view order. Now you can see that order means. When you click on order, then in next page we can see the order item. So this way you can display order in admin panel. If any you get any new order, then you will get uh, this order in first. So this way we can create display order page in admin side. Thank you so much for watching my video.